On April 7, 2013, this is Bridge Hands lesson number eight. Welcome, Bridge friends. Michael here at Bridge Hands, and on this lesson, we're going to take a look more at balancing seat bids in the pass out seat. In this session, we're going to take a look at when left hand opponent has made an opening bid, and we would like to make a bid at the two level in a lower ranking suit. Well, as always, we'll start off by taking a look at some of the criteria that we have before we begin. Now, we're in the pass out or balancing seat. We want to compete. We don't want to give the auction away to the opponents at the one level. Our partner, after all, may have some points and may not be able to make a bid at this point. So we want to be a little pushy to the opponents. Um, we can, in the pass out seat, as you'll recall, borrow a king, a virtual king, or around three points for our partner to try to hustle a bid. So rather than normally having 12 points, or 11 with a singleton perhaps, in this case we can borrow three points from our partner and bid a little bit more aggressively, at the one level that is, or making takeout doubles. So in short, what we want to do is take a look at our shape of our hand also. If we have shortness in left hand's opponent's suit, we certainly want to take that as a consideration versus if we had length in the lefty suit. So, what are some of the pass-out seat considerations that we need to take a look at before we make a bid? Well, the risk-reward. You know, is our partner, will we be in harmony with them if we make a bid? Do they understand that we may be a little bit more aggressive, looking to compete? Or do they prefer us to be a risk-averse partnership? The vulnerability is also a factor. So we should consider if we have neutral vulnerability, we're both vulnerable or not vulnerable. We have negative vulnerability, unfavorable, where we're vulnerable, they're not, or better yet, where we are non-vulnerable and they are. We might want to make a more aggressive bid when we have that favorable vulnerability. And the game format. If we're playing a duplicate game in a match point format, we want to get a good board. So we want to go ahead and compete more aggressively than if we were playing a social rubber bridge format, um, or if we were playing a IMPS format, international match point in duplicate, where part scores don't mean as much as game bonuses. Certainly we don't want to push the opponents into a game, do we, on that unlikely chance, where maybe there's 21 points here, 4 points over on the other side, and they might find a game. And then also we want to take a look at the working honors. If we have good working honors, aces and kings, ace-jack tens even, ace-queen tens, that will work together, they might pull extra points as well as intermediates, tens, nines, and eights. Okay, so what are some of the possible actions that we spoke about before? Now you recall that one was a pass, where we have either a poor hand or maybe we want to trap with length in lefty suit and no chance for a three no trump game. Another would be is where we make a one level bid, of course. We like to have a five card suit when we make an overcall. In the pass out seat, we might do it with a four carder. We might have king, queen, jack four times in a suit, maybe even in a major. We'd like to have five cards, but when we don't have enough to go to the two level, as we'll speak about in a second, we could do it with less. And since we're in the pass out seat, recall we can borrow that virtual king around three points, so we need about eight to 15 points, maybe plus or minus two, depending upon whether they're good honors, good working values, meaning primary honors, or the secondary honors, queens and jacks. Um, we can bid one no trump as a possibility, as you'll recall, with about 11 to 14 points. Now normally we have 15 to 17 when our righties made the bid, but when we're in the pass out seat and borrowing that king, we do it with around 11 to 14. And here again, maybe another point or so if we have more secondary honors that could get wiped out by the opponents. And then we took a look at the double Yes, we make a double when we either have a type 2 hand where we have a lot of strength and we're going to go ahead and then bid another suit. This is where maybe we do have that 15 to 17. We double and then bid one no trump versus bidding no trump with the 11 to 14 values. Or maybe we have a big hand with a lot of length, a good working suit. Suit qualities of at least 8 as you'll recall. Or just maybe making a normal takeout double where we have shortness in lefty suit, maybe we have a 4 4 4 1 shape, or maybe it's a 4 4 3 2 or 5 3 3 2 where we have maybe a doubleton in lefty suit. 
Okay, so we looked also at some other situations. One was where we were going to do a jump bid in a higher ranking suit than our left hand, but let's say it was one diamond, pass, pass, two spades. Well, that's not a weak hand. Now, normally we play weak twos, but in this situation, just as if it was pass, pass, and now it's our bid in the fourth seat, we normally have about a six losing trick count and very good suit quality. Normally it's about nine or more, or a good eight. And then in number nine here, we saw a situation where we would Q-bid the opponent's suit at the three level. Hmm. Now what's that all about? Bidding at the opponents at the two level has one meaning, maybe a Michael's cube bid if you play it that way, or at the three level it normally says, partner, if you have a stopper, or at least a half a stopper, in left-hand opponent's suit, you bid three no trump. Why? Because we have a long minor. So today we're going to take a look at situation number five. That is where we bid at the two level in a lower ranking suit than our left-hand opponent. Now, what's that all about? Why are we having a full lesson just on this one scenario? Well, good question. Let's take a look at it. First, our partner chose not to double or make a one-level overcall. True, same exists in the other situations as well. But in this scenario, we need to make an extra trick to come in at the two level. We may have a partner misfit and our partner may make a semi-forcing bid. You know, maybe they've got 10 points and they Q-bid our righty suit or they come in, let's say it was one diamond, pass, pass, two clubs, and now they bid two spades and we've got a singleton spade. We've got a little problem on our hands, don't we? So we need to have a little bit more in values, maybe about 10, 11 points, or hopefully a little bit more, to come in with a lower ranking suit. And that means we need to have, in this situation, a five-card suit with a couple of reasonable honors. So our suit quality should be at least seven. And it'd be nice if you had one primary honor. Uh, I'd say if you had king, jack five times, that would be okay. King, ten's fine. Queen, jack, I don't know about that so much. Queen, jack, nine, maybe. Queen, jack, ten, sure, fine. So be sure, in this case, when you're coming in at the two level in a lower ranking suit, we have fairly good suit quality. Well, okay, let's take a look at some hands here on the screen, and then we'll go to the table and try some more. Okay, so we're at the table here, at our virtual table, that is. We're going to take a look at our first hand. The auction starts off one spade, pass, pass, and our hand is. Well, it's a 5, 4, 3, 1 shape in hearts, queen, jack, 10, 9, five times, that's good. In diamonds, jack, nine, eight, four times, fine. And in clubs, ace, queen, three times, and a singleton in lefty suit, the best possible combination. So our high card points are six and one, and three is 10, one distribution for that lovely heart suit, for sure, we got a fiver there. And so we're taking a look at it, our suit quality in hearts, um, Five and three is eight. Even better with the nine, isn't it? So that's a good thing, as well as that intermediate, for sure. And in spades, we like the fact we have a shortage in lefty suit. We wouldn't want jack four times in spades. We're glad that it's a side suit diamond. Okay, the club. We have working honors there, don't we? So we have a chance to finesse if they lead the suit or if we get to partner's hand. So our losing trick count. One in spades, uh, a couple in hearts. I'll come back to what you're thinking probably. Uh, three in diamonds and one in clubs. And yes, we're supposed to have a partnership fit. Or we're supposed to have a suit quality of nine, semi self sustained suit before we start counting losing trick count. But this is pretty close, wouldn't you agree? Especially in the balancing seat. We can borrow that virtual king somewhere from partner. So two hearts seems right. You almost have enough to even think about doubling and then bidding the suit. We'll come to that in a moment. So two hearts, I think, is the bid here. And on the next hand, once again, one spade, pass, pass. And here we have another five, four, three, one. And by the way, if you're going to come in at the two level in any suit, you need to have a fiver, not just the heart suit. 
Okay, so um, here we have a seven points in clubs, uh, three more in diamonds, uh, a good three, we'll get to that, another three in our hearts, one distribution point, so we have 13 and one makes 14 high card points, and we like our suit quality of eight in hearts as well as the intermediates, the spades, once again, that's a plus for shortage in lefty's suit, um, club working honors, Although to get all of them, we have to get to our partner's hand twice, or they have to lead it once, we have to get to partner's hand once. So that's a little bit of a iffy one, but they're all working on her. So our partner has king, great things can happen. So our losing trick count could be around seven or six this time. It's getting a little bit better, isn't it? So we're going to go two hearts for sure here, and uh, on the next situation, one spade, pass, pass. And now our hand, once again, the five, four, three, one, we're going to stick with those. And the hand's getting a little bit better. Seven points in clubs. Three points plus in diamonds. In hearts, well, we don't have the jack this time, but we still have the ten and the nine. I'll count it for good five, hope you will also. And that one distribution point for sure. So, heart suit quality 8, plus intermediate spades, we have shortness there, great. Clubs, we like our working honors and our losing trick count. 5 to 6, do you buy it? One loser in spades. One and a half, if you will, in hearts. In diamonds, looks like two, two and a half, so probably around 5 to 6, isn't it? So, it's a pretty good hand. You may want to bid two hearts, or you may want to double and then bid your hearts. Remember, if you only need two cover cards from partner, if you got five losers, three losers, three losers is a major suit game. Yes, I know, we don't have a fit with partner yet, but that suit is close to being semi-self-sustaining, isn't it? We've got five plus three is eight, so in the pass-out seat, we can take a little bit of a liberties. No problem at all coming in at the two level. If you want to double and then do it, remember we spoke about risk-reward and your partnership how boldly you bid, this would be a good one to think at it. When we get to the table, we'll take a look at this one. Okay, how about another one? It goes one spade, pass, pass, and sure enough, we have a five, four, three, one. No, we have a five, five, two, one. Look at our diamond suit this time. Queen, jack, nine, eight, five times. It's a red hand that we've picked up. So our suit quality for hearts, once again, the same. The spades, we like the shortage. For the clubs, we have the three working, two working honors, excuse me. This time we only need one entry. We don't have to get to our partner's hand twice to pick all of them up. If we can get to partner's hand once or they lead the suit once, the opponents, we won't lose anything in the suit if the king is on side with our righty. So our losing trick count looks even better here, although we have only high card points, six in clubs, three in diamonds, three in hearts is 12. Two distribution, one for each of those five cards, who's 14. This is a pretty good hand with all this shape in those red suits. So I think this one you would probably want to bid your hearts, and the opponents are going to be pretty distributional, or somebody is, right? Probably most everybody is. Some else will have a 5-5-2-1 likely, or maybe a 6-3-3-1 or a 6-4-2-1. If you've got this kind of shape, don't think everybody else is going to be flat. It's not going to happen. So, yes, you could bid double and then bid hearts and then bid diamonds. Your partner's got a complete idea of what your hand's going on. Okay? Great. Let's go ahead and head for the table and try some of these hands. See you there. Okay, our first hand, Wes, is going to be the dealer, and it has a 5-3-3-2. Um, ace, king, nine, five times in spades. Ace, Double 10 in diamonds, 10, 9, little in clubs, jack three times, never my favorite in the heart suit. But we have three quick tricks in the pointed suits, the two aces and the connected king. And we like the fact it's a master suit with a ace king five times. So one distribution point for sure. We'll open one spade. To the north hand, 4, 4, 4, 1. I queen 10, four times in righty, west spade suit. A uh, four baby diamonds. King, four times in clubs, and a nice singleton ace of hearts, so it'll be a pass. Over to the east hand, well, not much here. Um, four, triple, three, that's not good. A king, ten, seven in diamonds. Jack, eight, seven in spades. 
uh, four small hearts and three small clubs, uh, no bid. Four high card points, uh, three in partner spade suit, but no, no bid now. Uh, okay, so over to the south hand. Yes, five, four, three, one, including nine cards in the red suit. Look at this. Nice intermediates, too. King, queen, ten, nine, five times. That's five high. One distribution is six. Ace, queen, jack. There's another seven. So seven and six is 13. Uh, queen, jack, nine, eight in diamonds, up to 15, maybe 16-ish type of points. And a stiff spade in lefty's spade suit so what's our suit quality here well we have three honors and two longs love this connected nine too so suit quality of eight in the pass out seat um, you might want to think about making a double and then bidding your suit if you have enough points not points but enough in the losing trick count so we have one to two losers in hearts we have perhaps one loser in clubs since um, we don't seem to have any much interest in East bidding, so we're not sure if this king is on side. Our partner could have it. And in diamonds, we have a couple losers there and one loser in spades. So one, two, three, four, maybe six-ish or so. So, yeah, I think that um, I could borrow a little bit from partner, not a king. Remember, because we're coming in at the two level now. So uh, it's close. Some of you may want to just bid two hearts. Others may want to double and then bid two hearts. Let's say that this south does that. Double. Back to the west hand. Uh, no bid. Now, if you had a 5, 4, 3, 1, or something like that, you could bid your secondary suit. 5, 3, 3, 2. Don't do it. Don't rebid your spades. It's only ace, king, and out. Okay, to our partner in north now. Well, you have this rattlesnake hand, 4, 4, 4, 1, including that queen 10, 4 times in left his suit, and um, yeah, I suppose you could either bid to no trump, or you could uh, maybe bid one of these minors. You might want to bid diamonds first and then clubs the next time. Kind of a tough call for you too, isn't it? Let's say that it's two no trump. Okay, so two no trump it is. Pass to south. Um, you're going to probably want to show your heart. You're not so wild on the fact, yep, your partner sure enough. Rule of anticipation, they always bid your short suit, effectively, when they bid two no trump. So you're going to show your heart suit by bidding three hearts. Uh, a pass, okay. Uh, well, you've got a singleton ace anyway. If your partner has this good a suit, could be a suit quality of nine or more. We don't know. Uh, let's say they go four hearts. Pa auction passes out. Looks like it could be a six one. Or if not, at least you got the ace in north. So the opening lead, um, it would be an ace from ace-king, but if you play count signals, you advanced players might want to play ace for attitude and king for count. If not, you'll go ahead and just probably play that ace lead. So the king comes out from this player because they're playing count signals, but even if they weren't, when south doesn't take it, we can see that um, we have this queen fourth in the dummy. And for those of you who don't play king for count leads, when you have queen length in the dummy, queen third or queen fourth, you wonder, could south rough it? You should still be showing your count over in the east hand. So from three, you would play the seven, showing an odd number of cards in the suit. I don't think it's going to be one, or else there would be a lot down here in south. Okay, so that means it's switch time, because if you see four, five, four, three, that means south is out. So don't play another spade, your ace, or it goes away, and then they pitch on that queen, right? Okay, so I guess you'll switch to the Ace of Diamonds, won't you? Ace of Diamonds looking for an attitude signal. You've got the three, you see the four, five, six, and there's the seven, so your partner's discouraging. East, why are you discouraging? Play an encouraging ten. Oops, that was a mistake, wasn't it? Well, they've got nothing better to do. I don't think they can do anything to trap that king of clubs with only a ten and nine, and the Ace of Hearts, there's no reason to play that suit up to the ace with your um, six, I guess, from three. So, geez, I guess play a diamond and see what happens. Well, hey, well, partner did have the king over in the east. Well, we'll have to talk to them about that later, won't we? Okay, and uh, you'll know to come back in the suit. By the way, did you notice on this last trick what was played over here by the south hand? The king of spades was led on the second one. They smoothly played the queen, right? They had an eight-card suit, four and four. Nice. 
give some confusion here. Maybe they will switch to another card thinking that, oh, south is out. All right, um, but no, they go ahead and play a second up to the king. Now we can go back with the low. The false card apparently didn't work, and they play a third diamond, and it is rough. So unfortunately, a little bad luck in the cards, wasn't it? Well, as long as they had an entry and there was a doubleton here, um, I guess it was always fate a comp play. So, uh, yeah, if it was Jack, third of hearts against us, we won't lose any hearts with these wonderful intermediates here. And sure enough, it was Jack, third. You would not lose any clubs. In fact, if it was triple three, I know it only happens one in three times, 36, but you could get a pitch there and you would lose um, a couple diamonds, could lose three possibly in one spade. You would have made it otherwise. So, just a little bit of bad luck. Let's try another auction. 